Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my supply haul for the months of June and July. I think I'm going to start off with my supervision paints that I got for the past couple of months. Um, let's start off with this set. I do have a video on this already, a pretty detailed review, so I'm not going to talk about them too much over on this video. I did get these sent to me from Supervision for Review. And these are a rock mica chameleon layered watercolor paints. What was really cool about these, they have kind of, um, I guess they have multiple colors within the tube. And when you lay them on paper or whatever you're painting, it kind of morphs into like all different types of patterns and color hey. colors. They are a little on the expensive side. In my opinion, uh, the company did let me know that they are coming out soon with a smaller set of them. How many is in here? 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, there's 10 in here. So they're coming out with smaller three color sets. So it'll be a little bit cheaper if you want to try them out and see if you really like them before you go ahead and spend so much money on them. These are about 70 something dollars on Amazon. And I think there's a 10% off coupon currently. I thought they were going to go on sale for Amazon Prime Day because that's kind of the impression that I got from the company. But they didn't end up going on sale. I don't think they had enough U.S. stock to do it. But they are. But they did go on sale on AliExpress. They're still currently a cheaper price over there on AliExpress. I think they're like $59. And so I'm going to leave you the links for AliExpress and Amazon. Right now, AliExpress has the better prices on most of these supervision sets I'm going to show you. But, um, of course, things can change. They change all the time on Amazon, especially the prices. So definitely check out both places. I know probably some people might be apprehensive about buying things on AliExpress. But in this case, this is the co actual company store I'm going to give you the links to. So I think they probably some things they ship comes from. The Amazon warehouse and it comes pretty quickly. Haven't had any issues, especially with this store. Um, they're pretty um, consistent and everything. So yeah, so this set I just got, this one I got from Amazon and it was cheaper on Amazon than AliExpress. Um, they were about $65 and like a 30% off coupon. I did a video on these very recently. So this is what they look like inside. These are uh, just a regular watercolor. They're not anything super fancy. They're just um, classic. They call, they're called classic mineral colors. And I do have a swatch, the swatch sheet. So if you want to see the colors. If you did watch that video, I was doing a comparison between these and this other Paul Rubin set I had because I was curious about, you know, are they the same thing? Are they similar grades or whatever. I didn't get an answer about it, but just by visually looking at them, they do appear to me to be very similar, at least in color, saturation, and lay down. I'm no expert on paints at all, so take whatever I'm saying with a grain of salt, but just for my opinion, just what I'm looking at, they seem very similar to me. And I did want to do a little bit of a light fast kind of test just for fun. I put them in my window, my kitchen window, I'll show you a video of me taking them out just so you'll see that I really did have them in the window and I don't really see much difference at all from the time I put them in the window to the time I took them out. They still look nice and vibrant. I can't tell any difference. It's been really hot where I live too, so it's been very sunny. So that was my informal test. Does it mean anything? Probably not, but um, just for my own experiment. They seem pretty good to me. All right, so that was that set. Um, now we're gonna get to my most exciting sets. These are the ones I was really excited for. There's, let me see, how many sets are there? This is all the advanced gray sets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sets of 10 watercolor paints in each of these boxes. Oh, I'm kind of too far away, right? Each of these boxes. They are, some of them are available on Amazon. About four out of the six sets are also available in the Arctic's store. 
two of them I had to get somewhere else an, a different store these two I just got these um, last week I didn't open them yet but um, the ones that I did order from from the Arctic store I got them super quick like I think this one these two are currently available on Amazon so these are probably in the Amazon warehouse ready to ship out and this one I ordered it this one set I ordered the next day I it came I was I was like are you serious this really came so fast and then the rest of these sets came within um, I think maybe this one came like a week and these two maybe about two weeks it took from China so and they're a lot cheaper than on Amazon. I think Amazon, they're like $38. And AliExpress, about $29 right now. And plus, AliExpress always has coupons. So definitely, if you want to try these out, look at them on AliExpress. But it's up to you. I don't want to be pushing you to shopping on AliExpress. You know, Amazon, people are trusted more if they're seeing that. But some, some things are kind of silly to to me I noticed people will buy something that's more expensive on Amazon just because it's Amazon and it's the same thing from AliExpress even it'll be the same thing exact thing from AliExpress and even probably shipped from China from the same vendor cheaper so but anyway let's get back to <laughs> let's see let me get back to um, our paints. I did do swatches of these four sets already. So they come numbered on the back. So the ones, and it's really kind of cool too, I think the ones that are like the lower end of the numbers and the beginning of the sets, they're all like a lighter color, almost more like a pastel sets, I think. And then you get down to the end, to the last, the end of the spectrum here. They go, they go a lot darker and more muted. So let's see. I'll show you my swatches that I have for these, so you can see what the colors look like in real life. First ten colors is in this one. This is sponge sugar, and that's what it looked like on the back. That's my swatches for this set. This one, I didn't do swatches for this one yet. This is LA Province. Let's see if those are the colors for that one. And then the next set is this one is Garden Tour in Midsummer. This one's really pretty. I was really excited to get this one. Um, this one is Charm of Song Dynasty. That's what the colors look like for here. That's my swatches for that set. This one is Sunset Travel. And that's what the colors look like for this set. And then finally, this is Chang and Palace Music. And that's the colors for this set. So. So a really nice muted set of vintage looking colors. A little bit different than your average set of colors. All right, so since we're talking a little bit about muted colors, I thought we'd take a look at this set of Arteza Everblend Ultra H2O brush pens next. I just got these right under the wire for being a July supply haul. And I ordered these in the muted tone, bin, muted vintage tones. So they were on a really great deal. They were 60% off of I think 24 24 99 something like that I had posted these up on my community tab because I thought it was a really good deal so they came out to be like ten dollars and I actually posted these on my community tab two times the first time I posted them and like right after I posted them and I, I personally bought them the 60% went went away and it went replaced by like 40% so I was like oh 
that's still a pretty good deal. And then like maybe a couple of minutes later, I looked again and then it was totally gone again. So I was like, oh, let me take this down. Cause usually I like to, if by any kind of lightning deal or something I post and it's over, I like to remove it because I feel like if you're gonna, if you're, someone's gonna click on it thinking they're gonna get a deal and they don't I feel kind of disappointing. So I usually try to remove them after the deal is over. Um, oh, this is pretty cute. The, the cap sticks on the other end. So these are a brush tip on one end and a fine point on the other end. Let's see if it goes the other way around. If we were to flip it the other way. I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up posting it again because after like the next day it went back to 60% off. So I just put a little caveat on there to keep an eye on them because they keep seems like they keep changing around the the deals up on that particular listing. Right now, I don't think it's such a great deal. The last time I checked, they only have like a two dollar off coupon or something like that. And I think maybe the pastel set was forty percent off still. So just be aware. They keep changing it around. So this one is, well, I'm gonna swatch them out really quick with you guys so we can see what the colors look like because I haven't seen them yet and I thought you guys might like to see them up close before you decide to buy them. This says, they've been advertising them as like Everblend, like they're part of their Everblend line, just like the alcohol markers. And I kind of was like, wanted to see what the, all the hype was about them because the way they advertise them, they make them seem like they're, like something more special it's just a water brush pen i think and that's see how i'm rubbing this really hard here and the paper pills up here that's one of the things i don't really care for much about water brush pens this is like a vellum cardstock and see it went through a little bit so if you do use these make sure you use kind of a light a lighter hand with them and you know, don't press on the paper for too long. I think probably these aren't going to be so great if you use them in the cheaper coloring books, like the Amazon printed ones. But I could be wrong, but I I, I wouldn't chance it. I would use try to use these on a thicker piece of paper. I do like the muted tones. I do like, at least the cap colors are nice so far. They don't have color names. They just have color numbers. So I'm not even going to read them off to you because numbers don't really mean anything to me unless it's accompanied by a color for me personally and we could see what the color looks like without the saying the numbers yeah, I do have another water brush pen set kind of some I think similar to this I bought last year from Ohuhu, got the pastel ones, and they were like a 24 piece set for, I think, about the same price as the set is regular price, so, and I think they've actually since gone down a, a lot in price too, so, I don't know why these are so expensive, um, they seem like just basic, the colors are nice, they're nice colors, but, um, I probably wouldn't want to pay $24 for them. $10, yeah, great. $10 is a great price and they're fun to play with. Uh, I don't know, about $24. But if you guys have them, let me know. Do you like them? Do you think they're worth $24? And I will try them out. Maybe I'll try them out on a coloring page sometime this week and show you guys my progress. I do have, like I said, I have the Ohuhu ones and I have some Cali Art ones that I totally never use at all. And maybe, maybe these will get me in the mood to use them. I think I'm an alcohol marker girl for life. <laughs> But I know a lot of people like them, water these water-based ones, more because they don't like that. They like them. They don't really bleed so much through the page. But that's not something I'm really concerned about myself because I always just color. When I use alcohol markers, I'll 
I use them in books that don't have anything on the back or if it's something on the back that I don't really care too much about coloring or I just print it out on a separate piece of paper another piece of cardstock so these are the colors what do you think I like the colors um, I like that I like that they're ten dollars if you press too hard though you see they do go through other than that they're they're fine they're 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 okay so if you're thinking about getting them try and wait for them to be on a good sale before you get them up I have to show you are some alcohol markers that I got from Michaels these are Tombow ABT Pro alcohol markers they're a little bit sticky from the price tags like on them but I got these on clearance they were a dollar each which was an incredible price to get them for they're usually well the retail at Michaels is like six dollars but you can get them for a little bit less like I think on Tombow website and maybe they're like four something and Tomba will often have a lot of sales a lot on their website too so you can get them a little bit cheaper than Michaels and you know Michaels kind of has that um I don't want to say scam but it kind of has that that um make-believe price and then they throw you a coupon every once in a while so you think you're getting a good deal but anyway um so I got these all in the clearance section for a dollar I went back twice because I think I got about 25 the first time and maybe another 25 the second time. So the first time I went, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I love these markers and they're a dollar. I got to get as many as I can. I was trying to get the colors that I didn't already have. I think I did pretty good. I didn't get that many duplicates. And then the second time around, I brought a picture of my color chart here. So I was able to check and see which ones I had and I didn't have. I was able to fill up a lot of the colors that I needed up on my list and yeah so that was a great deal I don't know if there's if it's if they still have it at your Michaels you could check it out and I don't really know why they were on such a big clearance sale because on the website they're regular priced I'm um, maybe assuming maybe they're changing their packaging or something like that who knows but whatever the reason why I was really excited to get them for a dollar each all right so the next thing i have to show you is some um, watercolor paper i got a couple of different sizes this one i just got i think it was on a lightning deal and for like five bucks so i thought that one was a good size to practice on and these two came together as a set these were two for about two for sixteen dollars um Maybe a little over $16, but I thought it was a really good deal because it's 30 sheets in each pad, so that's 60 sheets. And I had originally bought this because I was going to try and put it through my printer because I wanted to do watercolor backgrounds on my coloring pages. But alas, of course, it's too thick for my printer. What I ended up doing was gluing my coloring pages to the watercolor paper, so that worked out and then this big pad of watercolor paper this is Canson extra large watercolor paper I got from Monet I've also been using this as a kind of like a backing for my coloring pages so oops too big I hit the phone so I got a couple different sizes to play around with and they're all um, they're all the same weight I think like 100 yeah they're all 140 300 GSM and I think they're all a wood blend paper so I didn't want to get anything too expensive or you know I didn't want to get anything too good because I then I would be too nervous to use it since I'm still learning how to use watercolors so they're really good it's, I, these are were really good options for me to practice on then I also have this I got from Monet for our Christmas in July gift exchange. This, what is this called? A watercolor palette and she got me this Faber-Castell water cup. And then I also got some paint brushes. I was looking for some smaller 
more detailed brushes and I picked up this set. This, these all came together, all these black ones. You know, they're pretty good for a budget set of paint brushes. I really like this one a lot. I use this one the most, I think, out of all of them that I got out of those sets. And then these two were a part of my Christmas in July gift from Monet. And they're really nice brushes. They're Princeton brushes. I had never heard of them before. Monet gifted them to me and I did do some research on them and I decided to get pick up another two brushes for myself as well. These are a number two and a number four. And then what else do I have here? I have, I just got this watercolor palette um, because for my supervision paints, because I ran out of MC um, half pans. So that was really why I bought it for the half pans, but I think I'm gonna put my 24 Mineral Classic colors in, into this palette. I do have one of these already that I put my, um, the chameleon paints in. And these actually come with magnetic strips, but I've, in my experience, they don't stick very well, so you have to use some super glue and glue them onto here if you want them to really stick. Um, I got some washi tapes. Um, I got really obsessed with washi tapes all of a sudden. I had, I have used washi tapes in my, you know, my coloring stuff before, but, um, I've been really into them because I've been doing my watercolor background using yeah. these as framings for those page, for those pages. So I got a couple of those different sets. This one I got from Monet. This is a black and white set. Open this one up. I've used some of them up already. You got to kind of watch when you buy these two and look at the prices because sometimes they'll kind of shortchange you a bit on the actual tape that's on the roll. So you got to kind of look at the listing and see how many, whatever the measurements go by, I don't know, meters, centimeters, something like that, and see if it's really worth it, the price that they're asking for. Oh, I got these Hello Kitty toothbrushes, and I, reason why I picked those up, I thought they would be good for splattering, um, paint onto like making snow or white spots or something um, you know for backgrounds and then I have this spray adhesive and Mod Podge I had another Mod Podge on oh, Mod Podge I got those to glue my coloring pages onto my watercolor paper and onto the canvases and I also got this little scraper thing to help me flatten out the pages on to get rid of the air bubbles. Speaking of canvases, I got a whole bunch of canvases from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is not all of them that I purchased for the last two months, but these are the ones that I have left that I haven't used yet. Um, I did try one time painting. I think these probably more work better with acrylic paints than watercolor paints. You know, they're from the Dollar Tree, so you, you can't really expect too much from them, but they're fun to play with and, you know, make up little arts and craft projects for my coloring pages. I also got this at the Dollar Tree, and they were the only, it was the only ones there, and they're Crafter Square oil pastels, and I was kind of interested in Dollar Tree oil pastels to see what they would look like. It would be any good. Oh, they even have color names. That's that's a number one plus in my book when, when they have color names. They look pretty nice. Let me get a piece of paper. I wasn't planning on swatching these out with you guys, but let's try them out. Let's get our old paper from the markers from earlier. Let's see. Oh, they have the color names here, but I don't think they have the color names on the wrapper. So I guess you gotta put them back in the right slot. Hmm. I'm not gonna swatch all of them. 
they feel kind of more like a crayon than a oil pastel to me. They're like a little bit light, but it's $1.25. So that's kind of cute. Will I use them ever? Probably not. And let's see what else. Oh, I got these at the dollar too. These Crayola Colors of the World 24 pack of colors. I also have the pencils somewhere. And I did swatch these out. I had been meaning to try them out on a page too. So. Okay, next, we're going to take a look at this pencil sharpener I got. This is an Amphat Long Point Sharpener. I think that's what it's called. This is the box. It says Art Manual Pencil Sharpener. Adjustable pencil nib, auto in and out, sandpaper design. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, maybe on the bottom here? Means something about sandpaper design? I don't know. I, I didn't read the directions. I just started using it and sharpening the pencil, but it says how to sharpen a pencil, how to adjust pencil point. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look into this further because I didn't even realize I could do different things with this pencil sharpener. I thought it was just a long point pencil sharpener. This was my big prime day purchase, this pencil sharpener. Next thing I'm going to show you are some things I got from Folk Art. And this one is a dragonfly glaze. That, and it's in blue green gold shift. And I bought, I picked this one up because I had done this one with another color that I had. I think it was like a blue purple shift, something like that. And I really liked how this came out. So. I picked up another one this in this green color and you paint it over you can paint it onto furniture plastics um whatever you want and it makes a kind of a shiny iridescent glaze and then i picked this up too and it's extreme glitter hologram i've got this for coloring paint my coloring pages but i think this actually probably will, would work out better on you know more like furniture or actual three-dimensional things like a lamp or something like that i think that it would work out better for that and so i'm not really too happy that i got such a big bottle of it i don't know maybe i might find something else to use it on besides coloring stuff or we'll see and then this one is a glow in the dark it says neutral glow and i haven't really i did try and use it i know it looks like i have the plastic still on but i think i just opened it up this way and it looks like i did try and use it a little bit so onto on something on a page and it didn't really seem like it did much of anything like it said you probably have to use a lot of it to get any kind of effect and i'm assuming you maybe have to put it under a light beforehand and get it activated and then when you turn off the lights it'll glow so i'm not really too crazy that i got this either i don't know we'll see i might find some kind of use for it along the line somewhere oh. this is the final thing we have to see is I got these paint brushes there's they were two of them and I picked these up because I wanted I needed something to apply my gesso onto the paper and I thought this was would be a good I think they were um, they weren't very expensive so I needed something with a like a flat brush to be able to spread out the gesso evenly it says best for base coating large areas um so you, so you can use it for this is also by folk art too they have a lot of really good stuff that company they also make the mod podge i think too all right so that's going to do it for today's video if you guys have any questions or i forgot any links in the description box please let me know and i'll try and get them for you and or i'll try to answer any of your questions you have as soon as i can and I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.